Welcome to Barbados! Located in the Eastern Caribbean, Barbados is part of the Lesser Antilles. It's 100 miles southeast of the St. Vincent and the Grenadine Islands. We're two retirees hooked on travel. Follow us on our journeys around the world. We're docked at the working port and it's just bustling with activities. There's a container ship and it's getting unloaded right next to us. There's big spider machines and they're moving containers and stocking them in different areas. And there's trucks coming in and out of the port. It's like organized chaos. We just departed the ship in Barbados and there's, it's, a, it's a working port, so you got a ways to walk to get out of the port. And we're going to be going on a full day tour with shore excursions with a couple hours at the beach. But this is what it looks like. It seems like it's a major hub here for the eastern, southern eastern Caribbean islands. It's well marked. We're going to a pre book tour and can't miss the signs. Who lives? To your right, we have a strange building, yeah? It looks like yep. a damn air conditioning unit. That's called Kensington Oval. That's where we play our cricket. Cricket is our national game. My favorite part of most of the tours is, you know, just getting there by driving through the area. My head is spinning right and left, watching the people and the neighborhoods and the stores and just trying to imagine the daily life. We're usually in port just one day, and from the first impression, I sure wish I had more time to spend here. Tourism is essential for Barbados. It's a very popular winter destination for tourists, and they're visiting mostly from the United States, Canada, and the UK. Barbados was England's most valuable colony. There was a tremendous wealth that was generated from sugar and the sugar plantations that dominated the landscape. 92% of the population are African descent. Oh my goodness, we stopped at Cherry Tree Hill and it's an unbelievable view. They still have a plantation here and they're growing mahogany and cherry trees. Beautiful, huh, Zarko? Yeah, gorgeous view. Yeah, wow. Barbados got its independence in 1966 and now it's a stable democracy and a very prosperous country. It has a high standard of living and a high literacy rate. They used to use windmills to press the sugar cane to extract the juice. We're on the east side of the island right now, and we're just going to make our way around. It's an extremely nice tour. Really nice. <laughs> history. I said I like hearing about the country and the history and when she's turning us around, what was here and what was there. 
And I couldn't believe she said there were seven women to every man. Can you believe that? I, I, I just jump up that. That's what she, that's what she said. <laughs> like, uh, ask her again because maybe it was a different job. Okay, because the men would have a maid then, wouldn't they? Uh, They'd have a, a pick of the crop. <laughs> <laughs> So this is a really nice tour. It's with uh, shore excursions, and there's only like eight people in our van. They're small vans, and there's I don't know, maybe the most you can get is like eight, maybe maybe ten people in a van. It's pretty nice. They used to have 500 plantations here, believe it or not, and. The plantations, they did a lot of sugar cane, a lot of sugar. This side of the island is one that is exposed to the Atlantic Ocean. The water is rough, but the coastline and the views are extremely beautiful. It's a picture-perfect tropical views in all directions. It's really nice. They have it well kept. <laughs> I bet I can see why this is a famous international uh, surfing area. Our next stop was the St. John's Parish Church. The island is divided into parishes, and this church has been serving the community of St. John's. It's the typical British architecture and feel. This is their cemetery. There's an incredible amount of history on this island. What they're doing is they're growing a lot of sugar cane and they're producing a lot of rums. She said they had five distilleries across the island and they export a lot of the rum. They're And now we're at the historic army garrison and the horse race track is in front of it. And they have a horse race here twice a month. I would imagine if they have their own horses every twice a month, you'd get to know the horse and jockey. It's a nice track. You don't realize how big the track is until you stand next to it. I mean, I've been to horse races a lot, but you're over in the stands, you're not next to it, the track. It's big. They have a lot of, a lot of area to run. I, 
I think the weather's going to Yeah, I think so too. We're going to have a cold drink on the beach. Yeah. After a relatively short tour of the island, we're doing what most people do when they come here. They lay on the beach. We're on Pebbles Beach. It's the closest to the cruise ship dock. You can get here by a five minute taxi or a 20 minute walk. How's your beer? It's good. Yeah, I like it. It's, it's clean to me. It's fun to lay on the beach and relax people. Yeah, I don't beer. They have facilities here. They have bathrooms and showers. Yeah, well, really nice. They'll change. And they also have restaurants and bars and the whole nine yards. We'll go up there and walk around, I'm sure. There's Zarko. He's out there swimming. Like, they dropped us off at this beach and it's I mean, I can see the cruise ship. It's a really nice beach. Everybody's here. We have restaurants. You can do a glass bottom boat tour. I understand you can also get a snorkel trip out of here too. But if you want to come down and relax, our tour included the, the beach chair and the umbrella and a drink. Feels good. You can book a, a snorkel trip here on the beach, and this is the boat they use. They're going to take you out and look at, uh, I think there's a 25, there's, there's 25 um, wrecked ships, and there's also a turtle place that you can go watch the turtles. A <laughs> little rain squall, it sure doesn't bother anyone. The rain is warm, and we're protected under our umbrella. Five minutes later, and it's just sunny again. On the beach, there's a variety of food trucks and bars. After a wonderful day, we're heading back to the ship. If you're new to our channel, check out our other episodes on our ultimate world cruise journey. Tomorrow we're going to one of the most beautiful islands in the Caribbean, Grenada.